piecewise defined functions. We'll start off in the main application. We'll bring up the keyboard and head down to Math 3 where we can see we've got the define F and over here is the uh, piecewise tool. So let's start off by defining f of x in its piecewise form. So we'll tap on the word define. We'll use f for our function. We need an opening bracket, uh, x and our closing brackets is equal to. Now we're going to tap on this template here. Once it puts in a two-way piecewise, if I tap a second time, the function's grown. So we've now got a three-way uh, piecewise function. If I tap under the top box and enter the first function, 3 minus x squared. And this function is defined uh, for negative 1 is less than or equal to x to 2. You'll notice on this same template are our inequality symbols. So let's start off with negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than 2. I'll move on to the second part of the function, which is x minus 3. So the function x minus 3, and this is defined for x greater than or equal to 2. So we'll put in that x greater than or equal to 2. The last part of the function is that the, it's 2 everywhere else. Now, if you, uh, the best thing is simply to leave this last box empty. That means that um, class pad, if we're not between negative 1 and 2, will always get f of x defined as 2. When I press execute, classpad says it's done. Now let's check our functions working. We'll drag and drop a little bit here to save some typing. If I want to evaluate, say, f of negative 5, we're expecting this to come out as 2, and it does. Uh, what about if we had a different one? Maybe if we wanted to evaluate f of 3. Again, um, it's come out as 0 because now we're, um, for greater than two, we're using the middle part of the function. So everything seems to be working according to plan. If we want to have a look at the graph of our piecewise function, we'll go split screen. So I'm going to tap on the graph icon. I get a little bit of graph paper downstairs and I'm simply going to tap and uh, select f of x and drag it downstairs to have a look at the graph. And there it is. An alternative is to um, graph the function in graph and table. Let's take that as well. So I'm just going to edit, take a copy of our function and head off from the main menu into graph and table and uh, edit, paste, f of x into here, tap the box and draw the graph. And you can see we get exactly the same function uh, show up here. Um, it's kind of useful that we can um, trace over the boundaries. If I go into trace mode here uh, and wanted to jump to negative 4, so I'm just going to type negative 4 using the buttons. OK. It jumps to negative 4. So we've got this continuous kind of function here and I can easily trace to any point on it. I can also integrate or over the boundaries. Let's have a look and find the area trap between the curve and the x-axis between negative 4 and 4. So I'll use the G-Solve integral tool and it's just going to be a regular integral from negative 4 uh, to an upper boundary of 4 and I'll say OK. And so ClassPad here has done the integral. It's integrated over the boundaries for me of the three separate functions and given us a value of 12.